So next we're going to do the SIMV volume pressure support mode. We're going to leave our compliance at 40 and our resistance at 5 and we're going to set the following parameters. So SIMV volume, tidal volume of 400, rate of 25, FiO2 of 21 percent, PEEP of 5, pressure support of 10, eye time of 1 second, and the inspiratory hold at 0 seconds. So we can leave our inspiratory rise at 0.15 we can adjust our flow trigger once we get it on our patient so we make sure it's sensitive enough without auto triggering and then we want our inspiratory cycle off all the way at one second one percent because we want to ensure we get our full inspiration so let's go ahead and accept our settings and if we see we are auto triggering with that little T there and our rate is set above 25 so let's just adjust our trigger let's take them to a pressure trigger and that looks to have corrected the problem. So our peak pressure is 17 and let's see what our plateau pressure is. 16. So just one point difference between the two. So let's go ahead and change our compliance and see what that change does. So we're going to go from 40 to 20. So we're decreasing our compliance pretty significantly. So what would we expect? We would expect a change in our pressures, right? Change in compliance equals changes in pressures when you're in a volume controlled mode. So again, it looks like we're auto triggering. Our rate is above 25, so let's change our trigger again. And look at our peak pressure, 27. So we had a pretty significant jump on the peak pressure. Our volumes are still 395, right at that 400, which is exactly what we want because we're in a volume controlled mode. So let's check our peak pressure, our plateau. So 27 and 27. So we are one different last time between our peak and our plateau. So a pretty negligible change on our plateau, but a definitely a big increase on our peak pressure. So the difference between our peak and our plateau remained the same, but our pressures overall went up when our compliance changes.